they had a, a projector shootout, different yes. types of shootouts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Tell us all about that because, you know, we weren't there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that, was that the 250 inch screens side by side? Is that what? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, 250 inch screens, one, 150 each. Just give us and a then, summary. Be, you know, and then they had four projectors on each side, I think it was. Um, the Epson 12,000, 12, the mm -hmm. Sony 5, 6, and 7,000. Okay. And then X5 from JVC. And close on what, what were the I other? I think JVCs? it was the seven and the nine. Seven and the nine from the, the, JVC. the laser, the newer yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. So, and as far as what I thought, like the newer Epson, at least out of the box, it threw like a shade of blue on there. Everybody saw that. It mm -hmm. it looked good, and the yeah. black levels in this case, it seemed like, you know, they did what they did. They were nowhere near the JVCs, obviously. People yeah. get those JVCs for the black levels. Um, but then, you know, and this is just a thought. It's not even my personal opinion, per se. But because I, I, you know, I don't have either one of them. <laughs> but yeah. during that shootout, I noticed that um, most people gravitated toward black levels. Like, oh, I can see more detail in the black levels. But whenever it came to color and color gradients, it seemed like the Sony actually did on really vivid screens better because it just, it looked like it did a more accurate color representation. But during the black levels, everybody was so enamored by, oh, wow, look at all the detail I can see in that. And what I equate to that almost is, oh, that's vivid mode, but for blacks. It's like, are you really supposed to see a reflection off of a metal button when it's pitch black, but you could see like the detail of a button, you know, mm -hmm. or the tear had like a, a white glow off of it. Like, mm -hmm. look at how clear that is. But it's like, but if you were really there, is that what you would see? Or yeah, would it right. be what the Sony is showing, which is you can still see the detail, but yeah, you're having to kind of look at it like you're you're really you, you do have to kind of focus on it. But it you know, it wasn't like gone. It was just not as like you you had outlines over here of every mm. single object and yeah, you and can see all the JVC. in real life look look at chana uh you can see the tear from looking at your shirt right there look at that little tear yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can see the reflection in his eyeball so it, it i guess it boiled down to preference it, you know but everybody did gravitate towards the oh i can see more i feel like i can see more in this Mm -hmm. uh, because it's it's everything's popping out easier yeah and, um, when they had the epson up uh and i think it was the nx5 i was comparing the two especially because i was going like i i'm not gonna afford a seven thousand or you know a sony seven thousand twenty one thousand dollar projector mm -hmm. um and i was looking at the epson and going like well that's nice but these other ones are also nicer you know for the most part Mm. in most scenes and most demos i saw the uh, the shining with uh jack nicholson um in the uh one scene where he had his stubble on his face mm -hmm. and the nx5 just clearly did better on that scene than the epson okay so it, his uh, stubble was darker and and just more prominent than the epson that's what so, i noticed okay so Croson, I think we're kind of on the same page and we're always trying to look for like the best bang for your buck, right? Like yeah, yeah. if it's expensive but better, okay, I can I can get with that, right? But if it's more expensive and not that much better, then it's kind of uh, you know, right. like, yeah. where, How, where's the sweet spot? I, 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 I trust I, you. Yeah, I equate it to well, honestly, after this, okay, my first comparison of the shootout, I was like, dude, there's just no way I would spend any more money than I already have. But to be honest, after this and the non-limiting of the brightness. I, I I could see getting a 7 Series JVC or the oh. equivalent Sony. But oh. is it... But then I have to weigh personally, okay, I have multiple hobbies. Do I want to spend all my money on this one hobby, or do I also still want a motorcycle, snowboard, subboard? Uh, Yamaha shirts. E e e e e e e e yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> travel get into watches you, you know yeah get into watches yeah. you know do i want to do that just, don't do that do i, do I want to buy a hundred and eighty thousand dollar watch no or you know or a new projector two, three thousand dollars yeah or, or one projector, projector. yeah exactly. so you think so you think around what what price range is that that we're looking I think, at what are you Where's talking about sweet i mean if, eight, you, seven if, to eight, if you're right? not trying to get and again, this is just for home. Like if you're doing like 220 inch or something like that, yeah, you, the the sky's the limit, man. Get that hundred thousand dollar projector if you have like mm. eight rows or something like that, and you're trying to get all that light to tons of seats. Sure, the, sure, the sky's right. the limit. But I mean, honestly, to me, it, it it's yeah, ten ten k is the max I would spend. Okay, if, if, all right. you know, I agree. And even that, other. come on, if somebody were to just tune in right now. And this is the first time they've ever watched it. So, like, 10k, I'm out of here. What are you yeah, talking about, I mean, right? so, I, but with that said, I mean, I'm I'm at 4k, and and I'm happy. I, and unless I'm bringing a JVC over to my house and yeah. watching, you know, the movie on two screens, I don't know what I'm missing. You know, yeah. there are some aspects of certain movies and scenes, and and someone said, oh, a lot of the movies are dark nowadays with dark scenes and it's like well that may be but not as many i guess i don't watch yep. that much content and even if they do have it's not like the whole movies that way right right like so. you know um i've been watching the game of thrones uh disc one or season one on the 4k discs and in like episode three they're up at castle black and everything's just dark overall and then they're in these scenes where there's only one main light source so the um actor's like one side of their face is lit, the other's in shadow, but then there's all these other points of light and <clears throat> like from the fireplace and just like kind of flickering and then kind of lighting up the, you know, dark side of their face. So, you know, as I'm reviewing the OLED, I'm noticing all these things that LEDs just can't do. Right. Um, there's a scene in uh, what is it? Can't go home. No way home. Was it Spider-Man, the newest one? Where, the, where it's panning along the city before the big like last battle and you see all these buildings and it's dark but then you have the light and all the detail inside those rooms on those glass buildings that are you know and it's all like panning through so like it's not like it looks really cool but it's on there for like maybe five seconds right I'm, and i'm just like whoa that was awesome let me pause that and look at it because you know a vast majority of people aren't going to be doing that they're just going to be watching the movie Right. They're not, yeah. you know, these these kind of shootouts and like, you know, when you try to pick apart like, OK, what is better? What is not as good? You know, in these things, when you're actually watching content, like half of it's like, uh, like you said, if it's side by side, you'll probably notice it. But since you're not going to have 250 inch screens <laughs> at your home it, next to each but, other with. Projectors, but at the yeah. same time, if you don't have it calibrated or uh -huh. maybe you don't, maybe you have like a. 0.7 gain screen whenever you really should have a 1.1 or something for your environment and stuff like that what someone said it it's like if it pulls me out of the movie that's when i feel like i need to change mm, something right. like if it like if it goes to a dark scene and you can't see it it's just a black screen and you hear voices then yeah that's and you know so, some things off phil felt that way because they could see the detail, but it's like, do you really need to see the guy's coat in this situation or just, oh, that, you know, that, okay, I'm waking up, I'm hitting my watch or, right. you know, and then you hear him climbing up the stairs, you know, and you in don't real be life, you actually wouldn't even be able to, to uh... see for, you know, 10 minutes after waking up from a concussion like that, clearly. <laughs> you know, so here's what might be interesting though, is like, Imagine if they played some content that you created, Shauna, mm -hmm. or, you know, if I played back something that I've made, like a video, well, I know what that's supposed to look like. I'm the creator, right? If right. I went and I'm like, that's too much detail. Like, I didn't, that's extra detail. I equate, you know? it to, I equate it to this. You can go into a pitch black room that has all kinds of stuff on a shelf, right? Mm. And you can barely see stuff. But if mm -hmm. you take a camera with like a 0.5 aperture and take a picture, it's going to look like there's a light on in that room. Yeah. I mean, what smart smartphones can do that. What are, you, what are you trying? But there's nothing wrong with that. If you yeah. want to see the detail, you know, if you want to just, hey, I wish I had night vision all the time, that's great. You know, yeah. that's, mm -hmm. I see all the detail. 
and it, I know what you're saying. It, it is that's and it is cool to see all of the extra detail because you feel like you're getting more out of the movie. I guess if you're seeing, yeah. if you're really, if you really like those dark scenes, and you can see all the extra details in the dark scenes. So, you know that this is why I think a lot of people are, you know gravitate towards you know black levels is the best which yeah. you know it goes to show because everyone there most people they really like the jvc and i mean it was it, it I, saw, I saw the i saw the instagram attention. post it's like black level jvc black levels that's what the, yeah. <laughs> the instagram post was I, I know what you're saying though paul uh it's kind of like like the new smartphones now right you take a photo at night and it doesn't even look like nighttime anymore mm -hmm. it looks almost like daytime it's like mm -hmm. you know it's, it's like hold nice still though. And it's like, you know, readjusting the, the lighting or something, taking a second picture. Yeah. And that's yeah. cool, too. But if you ever look at a nice, like, you know, professional photo, nighttime looks like nighttime, right? It looks like what you think when you think of Yeah, nighttime, you right? have to, like, so, actually look at the photo to see, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I see that. You don't just automatically see, oh, I yeah. see a soda can sitting off in the back corner. You yeah. literally have to be looking. Oh, what is that? But see, I'm trying to hide my know. background. If I could make this darker, I don't want you guys to be lifting this, and I don't want you to see all. Yeah, see, <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> Who knows what he's got back there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And that and that was it. It's it boiled it's easy, down. Joe. It boiled turn, down to turn preference. It, off, bro. it boiled it boiled oh, down to is. preference. Yeah, just turn everything up. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think the whole point I was going to is just that. You know, ten thousand dollars is still a lot, even if the, we're mm -hmm. saying like that's the optimal yeah. point. That's a lot of money, you know. I, you know, I would have to think about that for a while, right? Like, yeah. I'm not just gonna go make a impulse buy like Chana would. Hey, hey, you know I, mean? I felt that coming. I, I, can't, I knew you were gonna say that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not that baller. Yeah, no, you know what? No, you know what? I, you know, train. I'm sure yeah. I could find ten thousand dollars worth of stuff here that I could easily sell. But no, you know what I'll do? Let me make a GoFundMe and ask my viewers to, to help me pay for it. There you go. Yeah, I need to buy kidding, a lot. Kidding, that kidding, press I'm, Joe. I'm just saying. You know how uh, we have to remember. I think a lot of times that this is a, a hobby where you know, like any hobby, it gets really deep, right? And mm -hmm. for somebody coming in for the first time, if you're the you know new to this channel, you might think like, man, this is crazy. But just know that we know we're also crazy, right? So uh, Angela just got in the mechanical keyboards. I won't get into that much, oh, but no. you think a keyboard, right? Like keyboard, I'm gonna go buy a Logitech, yeah. you know, whatever bucks. Microsoft Come keyboard. On. That's all I need, right? <laughs> all right. So so I saw this one keyboard that's like six, if you know, five or six hundred bucks, right? And I was like, uh. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. Uh, when you guys send it to me, they're like, yeah, we'll send it. I'm like, that's crazy. 650 bucks for a keyboard. So I think it's kind of like that, right? So for an enthusiast, yeah. they'd be like, oh, yeah, it's totally worth it. Well, I mean, like, it has this, this, and this. Like, I mean, it's a normal example, person be like, what the right? Heck? 25, oh, yeah. 25 bucks for this can holder. Like, yeah. Most people are like, just drink your drink faster. Just right. drink like, you don't even yeah. need you don't even need it but it's like hey eh, you know and the so, only reason that i got this one is because it the lid pops off easier i ha already have cheaper ones but it's like i have to spin like there you go, there you go. so i think i think it's just like there are if you think about like uh products as far as from the less least expensive to the most expensive right sometimes there's like little plateaus right Mm -hmm. And then there's yep. like one product that kind of like bumps up to the next level. I'm always looking for those particular points. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like if you go ex extremely inexpensive, well, the projectors are pretty bad, right? They're like, they're, they're, you know, use them from outdoor projectors or something like that, but don't try to use it in your home. But then you go to like, like I'm using a BenQ right here, right? So you, you jump up, right? And then maybe you spend a little more and then you, you jump up to uh, an Epson, right? Boom. Another like step up. In mm -hmm. you know black levels, let's say, and then you step up again from there. What maybe JVC at that point, right? From Epson to JVC. Yeah. So it's just I'm always looking yeah. for those points where like, hey, if you're gonna spend around this much, yeah. Go once for you this get, particular one, yeah. yeah. Once you get above even the three thousand dollar mark, then it becomes so preference mm. to what you're looking for and what you're spending your money on because each 
you know, manufacturer focuses on one thing versus the other. It's right. like, what, and they, what, they what, do what, it. and in that case, what's more important to you? And they they you do things do differently. Um, yeah. like, uh, HDR tone mapping is, is going to be different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, once like, let's say, let's say the projector stops at 1000 nits, right? That's, that's its HDR. When you get content that's mastered at 4,000 or 10,000, then the uh, projector has to now tone map those specular highlights, you know, in a way that's, that that manufacturers tells it to do, right? So Sony's going to have a different way of doing it. JVC is going to have a different way of doing it. So it's a, it's one of those things, which one do you like better? You know? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, make sure to join us every Monday for our live stream at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com forward slash daily i5.